If your Westie dog has skin allergies too, like mine does, then you're gonna want to watch this video. Hi, I'm Miruna, this is Sami, and we make weekly videos talking about Westie dogs. So make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click on the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Like most Westies, Sami has skin allergies and one of the first things that my vet advised me to do is to give him baths using a medicated shampoo that is formulated for um, skin issues like uh, allergic dermatitis. I bathe Sami anywhere from once a month to once every week depending on how bad his allergies are. So for example during the summer months when his allergies are under control pretty much, I won't bathe him at home at all. I just take him to the groomer once every four to six weeks and he gets a bath there. However, during the winter months like now when the humidity is higher, his allergies tend to act up quite a bit. So he needs more frequent baths, maybe every two weeks, maybe more often, it depends. Um, now, normally you shouldn't bathe your Westie so often because you're removing the oils from the skin and it does dry out the skin a little bit. However, for a dog like Sami with environmental allergies, it is recommended you bathe them more often. Uh, Sami is allergic to dust mites. So basically those microorganisms that feed on the dust and they're everywhere. Um, so no matter how clean I keep the house, no matter how much I vacuum and wipe him every day, he's still, uh, his allergies still flare up every now and then. So by bathing him, I'm basically removing all those allergens that cling to the coat and get to the skin. So that is why after baths, usually he's, his skin calms down and he feels better. I'm always using a medicated shampoo that is formulated for skin issues like dermatitis. I usually get that shampoo from the vet or I just order it on Amazon. I have a few favorite shampoos that I use on rotation. The one that I'm using the most right now is from Duxo S3. It's the calming version. It really helps calm the skin and relieve the itchiness. And I also like it because it smells really, really good. And then I have another shampoo that I use when Sami's allergies um, get really bad. So when he has those red hot spots or when he's been scratching his skin raw, and that's when there's a risk for infection. Um, so I use this shampoo that has an ingredient called chlorhexidine, 2% chlorhexidine. Uh, this is an ingredient that disinfects the skin and makes sure that it won't get infected basically. So the one that I'm using is from Hexaderma. I don't think you can find it outside of Portugal. I buy this shampoo from my vet. So um, if you live outside of Portugal, I, I don't have any other recommendation, but I do suggest you look for a shampoo that has this ingredient, chlorhexidine. So one thing I wanna say here is that I have tried a number of these kinds of shampoos and there is no miracle one. So there hasn't been one shampoo that, that was life-changing that uh, all of a sudden made Sami's allergies go away. I don't think there's any such product. So I suggest you just try and find the one that works best for your dog. Um, these are the ones that I'm using right now. Another one that I should mention here is from Virbak. It's called EpiSooth and you can find it on Amazon. It's also a good shampoo for dry and sensitive skin. So when bath time comes, I like to use a rubber mat that I put in the tub so that Sami won't slip uh, when I wash him. This is one of the things that makes Sami more comfortable. Um, he already hates baths. So I'm uh, doing everything that I can to just make him as comfortable as possible. Another thing that I do is I make sure that the bathroom is warm enough. I use warm water that is not too hot. I think this is important, especially for a dog with uh, sensitive skin. Um, you know, hot water can be very uncomfortable and even painful. Then I take a few pumps of shampoo that I try to distribute equally um, everywhere and I shampoo uh, really well. I like to use a few extra pumps of shampoo on the areas that are more affected, like more itchy. 
Um, in Sami's case, those are the paws, um, the underarms, the belly area, and right on the chin on the lateral sides. That's where he itches the most. So I will put a little bit more shampoo there and just massage it really well. Now, the important part here is all of these shampoos, the way they work is you gotta leave them on for five to 10 minutes. So this is usually written on the bottle um, and this is an important step that you shouldn't skip because that's how they work. So after I um, shampoo Sami really well everywhere, I'm gonna leave the shampoo on for 10 minutes in the meantime, I massage him a little bit. I make sure that the shampoo um, has reached every spot. Um, if your dog gets bored, you can also use treats. Sami, for example, doesn't really enjoy treats in the bath. I did try a few times and he usually refuses them. I think he just hates bath time so much that he just wants it to be over already. One thing I forgot to mention here is make sure that the temperature in the bathroom is okay. Like make sure that it's not too cold because your dog's gonna be sitting still for 10 minutes and uh, you don't want them to be shivering with cold. Okay, so once the 10 minutes are done, it's time to rinse. Now I cannot stress this enough, make sure to rinse really, really well. Because if you leave any residue of shampoo, that will uh, be itchy on the skin and it will cause even more problems. So rinse, rinse, and when you think you're done rinsing, rinse one more time, just to be sure. There was one time when I picked Sami up from the groomer when I believe that they didn't rinse him that well and he just, a few hours after that, he started scratching really badly and that was the first time he ever did something like that. His whole back and neck were just scabs from all the scratching. And I, I assumed that it was because they didn't rinse him well um, after the bath. So don't rush this step. Just make sure that every square inch of their body is really well rinsed. And once we're done with that, I just pick up Sami's towel. Um, yes, he has his own special towel uh, that I use to, to dry him with. And I pick him up, I make him into a burrito to absorb all the water, to dry him off as much as possible before blow drying. Um, and then I blow dry him using uh, my own hair dryer. I don't have a special uh, blow dryer for dogs, I just use mine and I make sure that I don't use it on the hottest setting. So again, for um, sensitive skin, it's important that you don't use um, a high temperature. So I will use uh, the medium setting and it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to blow dry him depending on how long his coat is. Um, if he's super fluffy, if he hasn't been groomed in like two months, then it's probably gonna take me an hour just to dry him. Um, if like now he's, you know, freshly groomed, it's probably about 30 minutes. The area that is the most difficult to dry is usually on his back and hips. That's where his hair is most dense. So I just come back to that every now and then and insist a lot there because um, it tends to remain damp. And this is important that you make sure that your Westie is perfectly dry uh, once you're finished, because if you don't dry out their coat properly, then uh, the skin tends to dry out and it's possible that they will be more itchy because of that. Plus there is a lot of risk of uh, bacteria and fungi and all kinds of stuff from the humidity. So just make sure you blow dry them really well. And that's it. That's how I bathe my allergic Westie. I hope you found this video useful. Leave me a comment and tell me if you have a dog with skin allergies too and what do you do that works for you. I would love to hear any tips that you have to share. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button below. Uh, share this video with your friends. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click on the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you as usual in our next video. Bye!